Hello guys! So the focal point of today's makeup, as you noticed, will be red lips. Not a glamorous look though. More like everyday summer kind of lips. And as you know now, I'm trying to choose different focal points for my makeups and start with this point and then build the whole thing around it just the way I want it, just the way I feel it should be. Otherwise, I just end up with the same makeup all the time. So in my previous video, the focal point was thick eyeliner. I almost started the whole makeup with that thick eyeliner and then I built everything. Today, first I just wanted to start with those red lips, but then I was like, okay, what if I want to use the powder? So I'm gonna powder my face and some powder will like fall down on, on the lipstick. That's why I started again with the skin, with the foundation. So let's see how and why I ended up with that look. First I'm applying a pretty thick actually foundation. But I'm gonna make the first layer pretty thin and just see if I want to build this more in the end. This is all gonna be an experiment. I'm gonna leave the links down below on all the products and I'm applying it on top of my moisturizer, that's why I'm slightly shiny. And I'm also applying it on my lips, of course, because I'm gonna use red lipstick. Now I'm gonna powder my face with translucent loose powder. It looks yellow, but it actually has no color at all. Only for the girls with a very, very light, very fair skin, it can be slightly yellowish. So now I'm going directly to the lipstick. So they gave me this lipstick tester in a MAC shop when I was buying a present for my friend. So I decided to give it a try and I'm trying now this red lipstick. This red color is absolutely gorgeous. You know why? Because I think it suits most people's faces. It's not very bluish and not very orangey. That's the first point. It's very pigmented, it's bright, but at the same time, the color pigment is not clear. It has some gray in it, probably you can't notice it right away. If you put it next to a very clear red color, you will see what I mean. So it has some amount of grayish color in that, which makes it slightly dustier and much more universal. I think that's why this color is the most popular. See, my coloration is somewhere in the middle. I'm not super ashy, but at the same time, I do have some grayishness. It's pretty close to overpowering me, but not quite so yet. Because see, when we apply something that is overpowering us, in terms of color, let's say, or in terms of the application, then we have a feeling that we need to build up more makeup, you know? So we kind of need to match. So now I'm gonna check how much it is overpowering me and how much makeup I wanna add after that. So to add a little bit of dimension, I'm using Half Red Lip Liner by MAC. Slightly Bordeaux dusty color, which is my favorite pencil. And I'm blending it with a brush. So now, the brows. Let me see how little I can go for my brows. As I said before, I don't want to have too heavy stuff around that lips. I'll try my best to use as little as I can. So I felt like that's enough for now. Now I add some transparent brow gel. Yes, it was transparent some time ago. Only to give my brows like more natural effect. That step is actually optional. Now I'm applying some liquid concealer and I'm only concealing the parts that have some discoloration. I'm not caking a lot of it under my eyes. And you can also see my beauty spot or birthmark, I don't know how you call it, uh, under my eye. So you, you will be able to see how sheer the coverage is. I'm also applying my concealer in the places where I have some downwards shadows on my personal face. Not everyone has them, especially with that injection technology that we have now. But I do have some downward stuff that I want to conceal. Now lashes. Now I don't want to go for spider lashes today. Normally I do, I love them, but today let's do as little as we can. So I keep checking in the mirror when I want to stop. So first I wanted to leave the bottom lashes empty. Now I decided just to touch them a little bit with a brush. So I'm mixing those two colors, the lightest one and the middle one. Now I'm gonna contour my face. Now I don't want to create super graphic and sculpted cheekbones. And I'm applying them not under my cheekbone, but on the cheekbone. Also I'm adding some color on my nose, a bit under my brows. Now I'm gonna use that shimmer. I also don't wanna overdo it. I will just build a little bit. And mostly on the places where I used to do this. Okay, now, let me stop. Yep, I'm done. 
Okay, so this is what I end up with. It's actually a very interesting experience now for me to change the order of the steps. Because if I thought about that red lips makeup, but I would do my regular steps, I would never even think about leaving my bottom lid empty, not using any liner, any eyeshadow. I would just never think that would look okay. But now I feel like I don't need to add anything in there. I feel pretty normal. I don't feel like look at me kind of a thing, you know? Uh, feels very fresh at the same time. Because normally I feel like I look slightly tired if I don't do like huge spider lashes or don't do eyeliner or at least some eyeshadow to lift my eyes up. Thank you so much for watching and if you're interested I have a couple of more red lips videos for you. How to find the right shade of red for your lips and also everyday red lips like how we should apply just the application techniques if you're interested. So I will leave the links also on those videos down below. And also for those who is interested in my music life, who was asking me about it, yes, finally I have my recordings on sale iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. I'm gonna leave the links down below if you're interested. The original songs are coming soon, so you can go and check it if you want. Thank you. Bye bye.